back to the special. After Doris agrees to join them, Bumby dresses Squishy as a large cheeseburger to motivate her into flying them to the North Pole. But I don't have any pickles. That should be the least of your worries, Squish. Told you so. Soon enough, the three arrive above the North Pole, but Doris's hunger gets the better of her, and. Skip it! After falling down a mountain, the two finally find themselves near the North Pole, which isn't exactly cheery or fancy looking. Men, I'm proud as heck of each and every one of you. So remember, keep your heads up and stay cool. Holy crap! Snowman on steroids! Attention all you snowman troops and heed the words I say We must guard Santa's bag of loot and watch it night and day And make sure that there's toys to haul when Santa loads his sleigh We're providing security for toys, guarding them toys We're providing security for toys Okay, this song I won't skip. Yes, it's a variation of God Rest You Merry Gentlemen, but it's actually more tolerable and pretty catchy. Plus, it's the only song in the special that doesn't use clips from previous episodes, so you have to give them credit for trying. The stuff inside of Santa's bag is treasure fine and rare. It's stuff the greedy want to snack. Good luck to those who dare. Our message to those hoodlums is a simple one. Beware! We're providing security for toys. Starting them toys. We're providing security for toys. Anyway, Bumpy and Squishy dress up as a snowman in order to get in. A snowman with big eyes, green arms, and blue ooze coming out from its bottom. Fortunately for them, their disguise fools the snowman soldiers, up until the elves are on to them. Come on, Squish, inside! Spies! Beat candy, enemy invaders! The two finally make it into Santa's workshop and go searching for the bag. Unfortunately, the elves and the snowman soldiers are hot, uh, cold on their heels. I'm glad now I really miss the simple comforts of my commode. We're not flushed yet, Squish. Where there's a will, there's... Oh, it's a good passage. Well, that's... strangely convenient. They then find themselves in a secret hallway with an elevator at the end. They go inside, the elevator goes down, and the two soon find themselves closer to reaching Santa's bag. However, the elves and snowmen catch up with them. Squishy tells Bumpy to get the bag while he tries to hold them off. And how is he going to do that? Why am I not surprised? Meanwhile, Bumpy's finally made it to Santa's bag which is being guarded like the golden idol from the beginning of Rares of the Lost Ark. Christmas style! Was this protective over the toys he gives away, especially with traps this deadly? Now I just take the bag and and share. No, forget the noble sacrifices of others. This bag has got your name written all over it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Whoa! But but what about the promises I made? What about Squish? Do I betray him too? No! Attaboy, Mr. Bumpy. Listen to your conscience. Christmas isn't about what you get, but what you- Would you listen to the other guy? He's right, you know. Sharing's for everybody else, baby. Not you. Well put. 
No sweat, pal. He has no positive conscience whatsoever, does he? I can't stop myself. Gotta have it <laughs> Didn't think so. After he snatches the bag, the final trap is activated. That's the giant rolling center of doom! You see, I wasn't kidding about that Raiders of the Lost Ark thing, now was I? Back at the cafe, Molly puts on her pageant as the cute dolls begin singing, We Wish You a Merry Christmas. It's showtime! I'll let this one slide too. Still not good enough. One more time! Oh, Mr. Bumpy, you better get here on time for your number or there'll be no next year for you. Damn, Molly! Not all directors are like this! You're acting more like Chef Ramsay! Donkey! Anyway, Bumpy manages to escape the rolling Santa of Doom and finds himself next to Santa's sleigh which is exactly the same size as he is. Oh, okay, hold up! Why is Bumpy the same height as Santa's slain reindeer? Did he grow an extra five feet upon arriving at the North Pole? Or are Santa and his elves only about a foot tall? Well, we never really get an answer out of all this, but I digress. Bumpy hijacks Santa's slain reindeer and Squishy manages to hop on as he flies off. But the elves won't let them off that easy as they fire candy cane missiles at them. Okay, Santa. Missiles? I think you're going up bit overboard on the security for your bag of toys. I mean, forget Iraq. The North Pole is the place where all the weapons of mass destruction are. Time to put these animals into overdrive. In the midst of all this, the bag is torn open and most of the presents begin to fall out. Thankfully, they all land safely in the houses below. Oddly convenient. Including Doris' jetpack and Joaquin's atomic-powered hands. No more eating dirt for me. <laughs> now I can devote my life to my twin passions, conquering and quilting. Yay! Joaquin's alive! Yoo-hoo! Unfortunately for Bumpy, the reindeer's harnesses break away from the sleigh, which causes it, along with Bumpy and Squishy, to fall out of the sky. Fortunately, they crash right into the karaoke cafe, unharmed and with the gifts for all their friends, including one very special gift for Destructo. I am Destructo, the non-gender biased action toy created to enforce order in the universe. Built-in rule included. Most impressive. No, no, you're not reveling enough. More joy, more happy faces. I want authentic Christmas sentiment. And, Mr. Bumpy, I want you on stage and singing. Do you hear me? Killjoy. Anyway, Bumpy takes the only present left from the bag since everyone else got the rest. But wait, what about Squishy? May I have my feet now, please? Oh. Sorry, Squish. No can do. They must have fallen out over Madagascar or something. Uh, but if it's any consolation, at least I got one present out of it. Wow. After all Squishy did for him, he gives him nothing in return? That's cold, Mr. Bumpy. But so because of the guilt, Bumpy decides to give Squish the last gift, hoping that he'll forgive him. And lo and behold, the last present just happens to be a tap-dancing noisemaker. You can tap dance! Does he actually make those? Because I want one! Sing! You should be standing! SHUT THE FICK UP! <laughs> After giving Squish the gift, Joaquin and Doris come in to thank Bumpy for giving them their gifts, which gives him a great feeling after what he's been through. And how does he express his happiness? With a song, of course! 
I came back to the bedroom with this discovery. I don't need things. Giving away gifts uplifts the people that you love. And on Christmas, that's good enough for me. Ah, what the hell. I'll let this song slide too, even if it is a reprise. But what a mistake, Nazi, think of it. Well, in the boys' room they say that the comfort doll's small heart grew three sizes that day. It was a great pageant, but to make it work, I went too far. And I stopped being a comfort doll. Yeah! yeah. I feel so stupid. Yeah! yeah. Truly, I experienced the dark side of comfort. I made everyone uncomfortable, including me. Can you all forgive me? No! Oh, that's cold. You know, she did do a pretty good job. It was a super pageant. Let's forgive her. Well... Okay. Much better. So Molly gets her hugs. Bumpy feels better. The closet monitor is right behind him. Wait a minute. Look out, Bumpy! Ooh. No, it's a present. He wants to give you a present. Well, what do you know? He really must have liked those ties I gave him earlier. <gasps> a special collector's edition dirty left foot sock. <gasps> With a hole in the toe! Oh, just the way I love them! I'll cherish it forever and ever and always and always! Oh, it'll be the pride of my home, the joy of my life, the very core and meaning of my existence for all eternity! <laughs> ah. Of course, you know, some things just ain't meant to last. And that was Twas the Night Before Bumpy. Now, on to my final thoughts. Overall, this was not only a fun Christmas special, but a great way to end the TV series. The stop motion is great, the jokes are spot on, the characters are memorable as hell, and the songs, though revisions of classic Christmas carols, are quite catchy. I watch it every year as it really puts me in the Christmas spirit. I recommend it to those who are either fans of the show or stop motion. If you're able to, go purchase the complete series DVD. Not only to watch the special, but the whole series as well, for both are equally enjoyable. I give it four stars out of five. And so comes the end of season four of Huey's Emmy Movie Reviews. Be sure to join me again in 2012 for season five. Until then, this is Huey Toonmore saying, see you at the movies, anime movies that is, and have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year. It was the night before Christmas and my philosophy was all of Santa's gifts should go to me. On the night before Christmas, I went up north to snag all the cool stuff that is found deep inside of Santa's bag.